What's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Guys, today's vlog is super special because we're on our way to Palm Jumeirah to check out a custom-built beach villa, which is one of the few ultra-modern villas on the market right now. But before we get there, guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and enjoy the rest of the tour. Guys, we are finally over here in Palm Jumeirah in this beautiful custom-built beach house. And before we get started with the store, let me introduce you guys to Stefan Herzl from Sotheby's International Realty, who is the exclusive listing agent for this house. And Stefan, thank you for having us over here. Thank you for coming, first of all. My pleasure. So before we go around, and I'll show you this amazing villa, let me give you a few figures. All right. Yeah. So it is a four-bedroom villa. Okay. Front end. It sits on a sort of mid number to high number facing the marina skyline, as you can see. The plot is 7,000 square feet. The built-up area is 8,300 square feet. It is three levels. Wow. So four bedrooms. So the fourth bedroom is actually on the top floor, which is a rooftop terrace as well. Okay. But it was converted to a sort of a family living room. All right. In terms of whatever you see in the house, yeah. everything's included in the sale. All the branded furniture, all the art, which you see everywhere, all the sculptures, everything. So it's wow. a turnkey project. I mean, I love the fact that you have these floor ceiling glass windows that just yes. as you enter, you're hit by this beautiful sea and skyline view. And because it's a higher number, you kind of appreciate the depth of the view that you get over here. Exactly. You, know, you feel like you're on the beach, but you still have the Dubai vibe yes. happening over here. You know, if you're in Dubai, the sea and the skyline and the beach are, I think, one of the most that's what Dubai is all about. Important right? pullers. This is why people come yes, to Dubai, you exactly. know. Exactly. And, uh, and if you move here from Europe or anywhere in the world, don't you want to live on the beach? Exactly. Right. <laughs> if you can afford it. I'm from Switzerland. We have no beach. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I love the fact that you have a swimming pool here as well, right by us. Exactly. Yeah, right. And nice. then you have the little fountain. You have the, the sound of the fountain. It's very tranquil. It's marvelous touch. I love the ceiling height over here. Yes, it's this around, very high it's around 3.4 meters ceiling wow. height. Very high. So the architect, uh, he's a prominent architect from Lebanon. Okay. His name is Shakib Rikhani. So he did this whole project and the whole project management. Okay. Yeah, with the selection of all the furniture. So you have furniture from Minotti, from Bocchi, De Zede, you have Giorgetti. Top of the line and everything is included in the price. So here is the kitchen. All right. Let's have a look. So everything, all the appliances are Miele. You have a, a door. Well, not a door, but sort of a balcony door where you can actually come in and out as well. Very or important for all your cooking and everything. Exactly. For the smoke to go outside. Exactly. You can uh, shut the door, open here, and all the smoke goes out. And you have a little chef's kitchen oh, in wow. the back as well. So if you look across here, that's the hanging sculpture I told you about. 61 cool. piece glass. Beautiful. 61 pieces, huh? Yes. And that's all glass. It's really beautiful. Like, can you go upstairs now? We can go upstairs. Do you <laughs> want to go by the stairs or do you want to go by the elevator? I feel like in a house this uh, expensive, you should use the other right? Yeah. So now if you see when, let's hope it's here, yes. So you see it's, it's with the marble, it goes all the way into the elevator as well. All right, Maybe let's do this. A nice touch. See you guys upstairs. Yeah. So we are now on the first floor. There is three bedrooms. Okay. You have a maid's room and you have the laundry room and then of course the brain of the house which is all the electrical stuff. Okay. So I just, love this. So the owner had a choice. Do I do a villa with six bedrooms or five bedrooms or do I do three bedrooms but very spacious, spacious yeah. bedrooms. Very yes. nicely done. Very nicely sort of the yes. light wood floors, the contrasting wood on the wall, yes. white, clean, minimalistic, yes. large windows. You know, you hardly sometimes find tastefully done villas on the bottom. Taste is 
very crucial. That's a good <laughs> word, actually. Yeah. So this is the bathroom. Very nice. Have a look at the bathroom. I like the fact that you have your standing shower and you have a skylight here as well. The, that's a, a that's a, actually a big thing. They wanted to have the natural lights come through. Yeah, very you nice. You can see it in the corridor also. Love the color palette that they've gone with as well. So yeah. they're bringing the same black theme yes. to the bathrooms as well. So before we go into the other bedrooms, yeah. have a look at the art, which is all over the place. Oh, very nice. Then if you also look up, you see this strip of natural light. That's what actually makes this place very bright yes. and very airy looking, you know? Exactly. You feel that when you're walking into the house. Yeah. Lots of natural sunlight coming in from different edges. Yes. So you have two bedrooms which are facing the sea. Wow, what a view. What a nice spacious room as well. <laughs> on the balcony, even though it's a Juliet balcony, he's put glass mm -hmm. on the railing as well. So it doesn't sort of screw up the view. Very yeah. nicely done. And because you're a high number, you have a lot of flow of the water, so yeah. it doesn't get stagnant. Here, it's uh, two of the big villas were sold on Enfront, no? One for 280 million and one for 600 million. Guys, 600 yeah, so million. I'm not going to mention who bought it, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is your walk in closet. Walk in closet, ensuite bathroom. Very nice. Again, all the way with, with the quality, top notch. Very, very nice. So now let's head to the master bedroom, which is a very special large sized bedroom. Nice Finally, room. guys, the master. Wow. Look at all that walnut cabinetry wow. all over. So the idea is, of course, why the bed was placed here. So when you wake up, you have Boom. the view and the skyline, or even when you go to bed, <laughs> fall asleep with the lights of the towers. Yeah. I mean, in Palm, on any of the garden homes, you hardly have these floor-to-ceiling glass windows, yes, right? Exactly. Because all of your construction does not have exactly. these modern elements. Yes. So it's very special when you come over here in a custom-built house and you mm. see and you enjoy the view and you see the value of the skyline, you see yes. the value of yeah. being on a high number because it really makes a huge yeah, difference. Yeah. The modern uh, feel and look of the furniture mm. as well. Once again, I have to repeat myself, very tastefully done. Very nice. And and everything is branded. Eh? Yeah. So Minotti, Giorgetti, you name it. <laughs> it's uh, Potrona Frau as well. All yeah. right, so let me show you the master bathroom. This feels like a real master bathroom. You have your standing shower, you have your freestanding tub, huge vanity. Love the fact that he's gone for these laser cut black marble. Yes. Really adds a lot of finesse yeah. and uh, grandeur exactly. feeling when you come into the bathroom. And now don't forget this villa is two years old, but it still looks like brand new. Oh yeah, it feels like brand yeah. new as well. Because it's only been lifted. used. Yeah, he, he only uses it maybe once or twice a month as a weekend home. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's why, guys. So, that's why, yes. Feels brand spanking new. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's head to my favorite spot. Oh, which mm -hmm. is? Which is the rooftop. <laughs> guys, follow us. Yeah, on the way up, you will also see some more art which is hanged here. Oh, this is nice. Pretty cool, right? I like how, you know, he's used stone like on the entire yeah. wall. So, yeah. very nice sort of combination with the darker marble. Yes. And then he's put in the lights, the you know, lights. he's just Beautiful, done. Yeah. All right, Farouk, I'm going to show you now my most favorite spot. It's the rooftop terrace. Wow. The rooftop living room with terrace. Wow, okay, this is pretty cool. Yeah. This is something that you don't get in the older palm villas, yes. guys, because you do not have a second floor. Yes, and then don't forget the kangaroo with the Louis Vuitton oh, wow. boxing gloves. Oh, guys, get a shot of this. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm scared to touch it because I feel like it's so expensive. <laughs> Oh wow, very nice. Yeah. Solid, solid architect. It's included in the house as well. No? Oh, nice guys, guys, you guys get a kangaroo with Louis Vuitton boxes yeah. plus any part this house. <laughs> now you guys should buy it. <laughs> See, this, this uh, living room can be converted into a fourth bedroom if you wanted to. You yeah. can convert it into a master bedroom. It has a bathroom. You can extend has... the windows all the way. So it's a possibility. Yeah, this is, this is I mean, you could, I, I mean, I could imagine you could use this as a gym, looking at the view. Yeah, exactly. Lovely outdoor space. Let's go outside. Let's, Let's show these guys. Let so let me show you the view from outside the terrace and let me show you the size of the terrace. Wow. Yeah. This is definitely unique when you come to a property on the palm. Yes. You know, you hardly get rooftop terraces. I mean, exactly. uh, forget the second floor. I mean, this much space on your rooftop? This much space. You can open uh, this living room on the top and then have it as a complete space. You can have little parties up here. Oh, very nice. Uh, yeah, great entertaining spot. Very nice. And yeah. you have a nice little sitting nook yes. over there as well. Yeah. And the view and then of course, the olive tree. The two million years old? How many years old is that? <laughs> Probably a few million years old. Guys, yeah, <laughs> let me check. We need to do our DNA <laughs> testing on this tree, guys, if this is actually let's chip up a little old. piece. Yeah. <laughs> now that you guys have seen the entire house, it's finally time to take you guys to my favorite part of this house, which is the outdoors and the beach. So come follow us. Wow. So, so 
have a look at this. So you have a, a 14 meter long pool with about a 1.2 meter depth. So you can, it's very nice for swimming actually. Yeah, very nice. Very nice, cozy, chill out area here. You can notice that the plot is, is a bit elevated. Yeah. Yeah, so you have a staircase going down on, on, on the side on the back. That gives you the access to the beach. Exactly, directly to the beach. Now, as you know, you can use the beach. It's private for the residents on this front. And I see a lot of people do some fishing. They have these <laughs> electrical boats yeah. go out. And anything which is not motorized with noise, you can actually use on the beach. Nice. Very nice. I think That's the fact. view and the skyline and the beach is the selling point of this house. I hope you guys have enjoyed the yes. tour of this house. A beautiful piece. And it's Very available nice. right now. You guys heard yeah. it say it, huh? Yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the tour of this beautiful beach house villa here on the Palm Jumeirah and you guys enjoyed watching the tour as much as we liked showing it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure to ask in the comment section below. And before you guys log off, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and see you guys next time for the next one. And thank you, Stefan. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it and giving me the chance to show you this villa. My pleasure. Yeah? Man. My Take pleasure. Care. See you guys.